What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel Hashtag Kayu My name is Razi And today Finally We are going to French Toast Outside Like in the outdoors Here we are At uh, Woodlands Waterfront And yep I'm ready to go down Let's go Alright so actually I received a comment Asking if I could show How I pack my bag So my fuel cooking set Is actually all in one Of this uh, Hot lip roll pack bag and uh, I'm gonna take it out and show you guys how I so-called organize and pack it inside. Let's go. Okay, as of any packing, uh, the principle behind uh, how I pack my bag is to put the heavy or bigger stuff below and all the lighter stuff on top. So what you see at the top are like my coffee beans, uh, some of my utensils for cooking right there. Not sure if you guys can see, uh, but yeah, my lighter and my uh, cooking stuff. Yeah, and then what I have here is also my coffee grinder. It's all at the top, and basically now we are looking at almost the bottom of the bag already. So what I have here is my pan, in which I have my French toast batter right inside. You gotta make it compact. So you gotta fit what you can fit within each other. Uh, there. Okay, over here you have my kettle. I have my dripper pot, the Hario dripper pot. Okay, water for me to boil. All right, and of course my MSR uh, whisper light system. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how I pack my bag. That is all I need for my film cooking. Right, to match my French toast, I have my coffee. Today we're having the Starbucks Pike Place roast. I feel that uh, yeah, this is the second time I'm having this roast. I feel that this particular blend uh, is just nice for me. I tried the French roast. Uh, right before this and i think that it was too overwhelming um, i can't appreciate the coffee uh, with such intensity so yeah uh, pipe plates roast medium roast suitable for me in terms of the preparation of a triple pot so yeah let's prepare that before we do our stove let's go all right so while the water is uh, gonna get boiled I'm going to prepare my dumpling for the French toast. Let's go. So, this uh, is back. It's my batter, guys. My French toast batter. Uh -huh. Why I prepare beforehand? So that I can pack it properly. Lah. Otherwise, it's going to get messy with all the eggs and the milk. Uh, logistically, not not uh, doable so yeah I did my better already gonna dunk my bread the brioche loaf and then we're gonna start cooking in a bit right after the water has boiled all right let's go all right so now that the batter has been placed into the dunking station and the water is boiling let's pour it into our triple pot let's go So we're gonna let that one drip for a little bit and the coffee should be done for 300 ml. So now what I've done is uh, I so called butter up my pan. Okay, I'm gonna down the toast and then we're gonna start toasting. Let's go.
Saja je Simple simple dia Ini pun api dia macam panas sangat lah Kata aku tak boleh kontrol dia punya Apa tu? Flame to be any lower Alright, so here you go, the French toast that I have. Okay, actually there was three pieces. I ate one while talking to a fellow cyclist. And uh, yeah, he he just rode off. Um, and he was having the Polygon uh, R5, which was the bike that I was looking at before I got the Sally Karate Monkey. And yeah, we chat a little bit and I ate my first French toast. And yeah, I must say that uh, this is a really nice treat for your breakfast together with the maple syrup. Mm. Mm. And um, yeah, also to go along with your morning coffee. Right and yeah, to me, uh, it tastes pretty alright. Just that I was not able to cook it thoroughly too because the heat was too hot. The one from the whisper light system. It was too high heat. <laughs> And it starts to burn the bread, so I had to take it out prematurely. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, do try it out. Uh, try it with the uh, brioche loaf from Haley, which is was the one that uh, I got from the QC right here. Haley brioche loaf, and yeah, it tends to be very nice and custardy in the middle, very soft, yet uh, having that. Nice crispy uh, outside. Yeah, uh, that's all for the French toast. And uh, let's finish it and move on to the next part of the video, guys. Let's go. Okay, so for those who want to know how I pack it, is basically the reverse of how I unpack it. But either way, uh, we put the, we are putting all the big items in first. So like my uh, Hario coffee flipper. That goes in all the way because there's still some uh, no residual coffee that is in there. So I'm gonna put that all the way down. Next is my stove MSR stove system, also all the way in right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Next is my water bottle. <laughs> this bottle doesn't fit any of those bottle cages there so it goes into the bag right here ah, maybe over here okay so as you can see it's all nicely in at the bottom portion of the uh, of the bag all right next up this is uh, my plastic bag for all the rubbish uh, i'm gonna put my batter along with the used pen right here uh, seem like what we discussed before put them together okay make sure it's sealed properly so that it doesn't come out halfway through all right close all the whatever handles and then we slot it in oh no the back hand drop water in there okay Something like this and uh, yeah actually last but not least is my utensils and my uh, what do you call that grinder I put them all together with the coffee and the lighter into this bag so that I can just slot it in at the top just like that yeah just gonna um, adjust it a little bit okay, so that I can get it in nicely ah, something like this is good and then you can just close and roll and fasten and it's all it voila alright so here's my bike all packed up we have the cooking stuff here 
the work stuff <laughs> over on the other panel and in front right here is the project X where we are going to go for our next part of the video uh, I just placed the bread in the hole of my handlebar together with my cap so that will do just fine and yeah let's head off let's go uh, it's always nice to see the scenery over at Woodlands Waterfront Park the jetty I mean look at that what's not to like and yeah let's head off to our next location which is pretty nearby Woodlands Triple Eight the skate park let's go Since the intended Woodland Skate Park that we wanted to go is already packed with people <laughs> skating at 8.30am So we shifted over to Bangkok hmm. Empty, nobody It's a good time for practice But before we start, we need protection guys I need to take care of my wrist and my knee So yeah, let's put it on Alright guys, so that was the small little skate sesh over at Bangkok Skate Park. Uh, the ledge is actually a little bit taller than what I'm used to. I know it's an excuse but it really affects my confidence and it requires more effort for me to actually jump onto the, the ledge itself. And, but I still managed to secure my Pawn Star as always because that is my most comfortable slide or grind but uh, yeah the uh, sole grind was a bit sketchy but I'm out of breath I need to find some place where I can get some uh, water so I'm gonna do that and uh, I guess that's all for this video guys uh, sorry if it wasn't that entertaining with regards to the rollerblading because I'm just starting out again if you have not done so, please hit the like and subscribe, like and subscribe button uh, and also that notification bell so that you guys are aware of future videos uploaded onto this channel uh, I upload videos every week so this one is one of them nevertheless and uh, yep, hope to hear from you guys in the comment section as well tell me how I can improve my channel, tell me how I can uh, make better videos and stuff like that for you guys to watch and enjoy so till then, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, ride safe, skate safe if you're into skating. And uh, enjoy life as far as possible. So take care guys, see ya.